Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome back to Indivisible, where we're still on our path through the Iron Kingdom, trying to find the Chakra Gate. Um, we've made our way through quite a bit of it. Um, let's take a look. So there's still a few sections we can go through. There was that path over here that uh, was blocked off. Whatever these question marks are. This ring cell I was not able to acquire. But, in theory, I'll eventually be able to... Oh, hello? How are you? Ha <laughs> ha Ah, damn it. Okay. And then... Burn, burn and burn. Okay. I was not paying attention and missed out on the sweet first attacks. Now, I would imagine uh, the wolves in this party are... Um, yeah, I forget. I completely forgot about the fact that the wolves just... Uh, uh, reproduce themselves. Which is very unfortunate. Because otherwise I was going to say that those guys are probably uh, the ones in the fight that are going to lose first. But if they keep calling in their allies... Oh. Uh, sorry. I was attempting to steal. Um, and did not realize that my character has, uh, already switched to Bach. And, th and that's gonna be something that's probably gonna be very continuous with this game, especially considering... Jamage. Uh, what am I doing? Alright, so that takes care of one wolf character. We still have. Oh, oh, damn it. Uh, we still have. Um, there we go. Get back up. I still have to clear out essentially this. Nope. Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, so last time I ended up running into a bug, so uh, that prevented me from from actually defeating this group. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess uh, regular. So uh, her attacks when they're powered up, uh, those can. Those can uh, break through uh, his block, but when they are not powered up... Uh, when they're not powered up, they're not good enough. And then hit, hit, hit. Splash, splash, splash. All right. Um, let us steal so we can navigate that block. And then finish it off. And luckily there is no invisible enemy uh, here to uh, essentially... Damn it. Also, damn it, because I was planning on using her incinerate ability. So, splash, 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 and... Okay, so I guess this battle's gonna take a little bit longer because, unfortunately, these bulls keep calling... Like, I wish there was a... This is something that happened in both uh, Secret of Mana and this uh, game. And that is, there are certain enemies that um, have the ability to call in allies. And it would be nice if those enemies had, like, a limit. 
uh, to how many uh, times they could actually call in allies. Because otherwise you're just continuously fighting the same enemy forever until you finally... Ah. Okay, let's upgrade her attack. And then splash, splash, and then... Okay, so now my goal is... Is to try to get myself uh, to level 3 so I could use Rosmi's incinerate ability. Because these guys just keep populating... Populating the screen, and it's very annoying. And unfortunately, that only hit... Ah. Is this good enough? It's good enough. Thank goodness. That was getting annoying. Um, oh, hello. I don't know why, um... I tried to, uh, get my guys to actually... Oh, now I, I think I know why. It's because I'm using the spear first. Um, and this is, the I think, the first time I've actually played uh, this game in which I've entered the combat using the spear. Um... Okay, I wasn't entirely sure who uh, was attacking who there. Oh uh, yeah, so this is actually the first time... Um, I've entered a combat using the spear, because most of the time I would jump into combat with the axe. Um, I did not realize that, um... That using... That, uh, using the spear automatically brought you into combat, because using the bow doesn't. Also, I probably should use this incinerate. That was very annoying of you. Oh, she's not even ready to attack. Ah, damn it. That's the... Like I said, always getting a little bit caught off guard. Um by their attacks. God damn it. I was right there. Okay. Finally. Because it's like half the half of it is paying attention like and waiting for that and, uh also my timing with that specific attack is really bad. Nope, that did not work. Um, and then hit him a bunch of times. I'll probably need to heal up or die. Okay. Uh, of course, um, I went to heal up right as he was attacking me, which is... Um, and now I cannot see this guy, so... Ah. Uh. No, why is... <sighs> no. What am I even... There we go. Okay, for a sec... <laughs> uh, let, let, let me try to gather my bearings, because... I have clearly... Uh, spent far too long away from this game to remember exactly what the hell I'm doing. Um, at the very least, it seems as though I will survive this fight. Thankfully, I did not, uh... Okay. I clearly was not fast enough in regards to that combo. Um, I think that's also, uh, part of the fact that I've been spent...
Um, I was spending a lot of time uh, leaving, leaving a little bit too long of a space in between my attacks. Although, I don't know, I don't... I, maybe they patched the game or something, but I don't remember the enemies uh, taking uh, such a short time in between their attacks. Alright. Scraped by again. I'll probably avoid using the spear as a means of entering a battle. Only because... Like, it doesn't necessarily... It doesn't open itself up to immediate attacks that well. Hey, Kampan. Is this the place? Well, above us. We have to get in through the roof. Shoot. We have to get all the way up there? The only other way is through the front door. But we don't want to be too obvious. If you had a rope or something, you could hook it up to those balloons. It'd have to be pretty strong to get us all up there. I guess we don't have anything like that. A good entrepreneur. Well, it wouldn't have to be that as strong because everybody kind of lives inside her head. We'd best search outside of the Iron Kingdom. Let's head back to the fort. Right. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. Leave it to me. That is unexpected. Um, I was expecting each... So I was actually expecting each area to be, uh, completable on its own right. Hmm. Uh, but apparently, that is not the case. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to be doing, like, a little bit of each. A little bit of each area, and then from there I might, I'll be able to actually finish it. Hmm. A little, that, a little bit more backtracking than, um... Uh, than I expected. But, uh, let's finish this guy off. And, I don't know. Now, I'll, I'll just cut to uh, me coming back to the port. At the very least, it doesn't seem as though most enemies uh, repopulate themselves. Uh, the only enemies that I've really noticed uh, actually uh, coming back over and over again would be like the tank enemies. Oh, um, and I'm guessing uh, because of the positioning of this guy, I'm able to at the very least skip over that part. Uh, but yeah, uh, only really the tank enemies have been coming back. Although that makes me wonder... Oh. Whether or not... Um, like when I come back to this world after I've acquired the rope. Um, whether all the regular enemies will also repop. Okay, that actually was a lot shorter than I expected. Uh, let us get out of Hayseed. Anchors away! I think I had convinced myself that uh, the port was just a lot farther away than it was. Um, so where are we heading, Hayseed? Um, let's see, last time we went to Iron Kingdom. Unfortunately, our progress is stalled due to lack of rope. If only we had the rope. Um, alright, let's go to Canoe, I guess. You know, I was, ex I was also expecting a... I don't know, do the enemies in this game level up with you? Like, it was, it was gonna be like a... I'm Jon Snow. Here we are, Canoe. Never seen much of the place myself. They've been isolated for quite some time. Their city is apparently hidden within the trees. Neat! It's like a treasure hunt. Now, let's go find that chakra gate. An incredibly deadly treasure hunt where everybody is trying to kill you. Oh. oh. I forget if this is the area where um you have to deal with the the queen lady. There there is a couple There we go. Ah, 
There are two of these guys. Okay. It's kind of like whenever you, you encounter them like this, they kind of like overlap each other a little bit. Why, hello. Take this. That is, these guys have got, like, the biggest, adorable, goofy smiles in their faces. And I think they're actually, when I knock them over, I think, uh, like, he's actually holding, um, a white flag. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah, when they're knocked on the ground, they're actually holding a white flag. So they're constantly attempting surrender. And then there's the merciless Ajna who's like, nope. Death is your only option. Adorable frogs. Although it provides for it provides for a nice different uh, environment, even though you can kinda see some like recycled ass um graphics with like these platforms. But it does look very unique in comparison to the Iron Kingdom. Like, we've clearly moved away from a uh, civilization based on industry to the jungle, which itself separates itself uh, from the forested areas where we began. And now for the dangerous but not dangerous spikes, because they don't actually do anything to you. Oh, you son of a... They, they, <laughs> they hold you back. I was not expecting um, those spikes to actually get in my way. How dis inconvenient of you. Excellent. So now I have to get either 15 uh, ring cells to upgrade my defense. Or... Uh, 20 ring cells to upgrade my attack. I'm tempted to upgrade my attack because last time I upgraded my defense. Oh. oh. But it doesn't really seem like this. Oh, I was going to say it doesn't seem like the nature is too threatening. And then there's this guy, whatever the hell he is. Jeez. Wait, have I knocked him out of the fight? <gasps> what? <laughs> well, is that an option? If you fight guys over by like a cliffside, can you? Oh, no, he's just down there. And who needs the ability to see who you're fighting against anyway? Oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, I'm so close to my opponents that just by not moving, uh, it creates the situation in which um, Bose's uh, attacks uh, damage the person in the front line. Oh? Okay, this has been an interesting fight. Damn it. Alright, so the big guy is down, which just leaves this frog fella. What does that attack do? I'm gonna have to look up what her down attack actually does. My gran hits harder! Oh, 
Incinerate. Incinerating just one person seems a little bit wasteful. Especially since it didn't actually uh, kill them. There we go. That was an odd fight. Um, I didn't realize that you could just, based on positioning, uh, you can actually get kicked out or you could kick out your opponent from the fight. Oh, that is not actually a platform. That is the background. There we go. Thank you, uh, background, for removing yourself. Uh, come back and then join your buddies. Okay, now you can all burn together. Hmm. And then splash, splash. Splash. Okay. Unfortunately, I miss. I, I've been missing those blocks. There we go. Okay. So at the very least, one of them is down. Uh, it's too bad all of um, Thorani's uh, splash water is way. Uh, off to the left. But it's probably due to my own, um... Like, if I didn't uh, attack, uh... If I attacked with her first... Um, if I attacked with Therani first, that would cause all the splash water to appear. Oh. I was not even thinking about the fact that, uh... That enemy would essentially start off in the uh, front row. But yeah, if I open up my attack with the running, then the splashes of water would be in the front. And clearly that is something I did not just do. Oh, did that do good? Uh, it did fairly good. And that is going to be something I will want to consider. Although there are going to be certain situations in which that's not going to be a good idea. And that's going to be when you're dealing with um, bad guys with shields. Or bad guys that block, should I say. Uh, or I could just it, uh, not be concerned whether they block that initial splash. Um, it certainly appears abandoned. Yeah, except for that giant moving vegetable! <sighs> oh no! That vegetable is in trouble! Ajna. Ajna. Oh. oh my god. I gotta... I... Did Ajna just assume that this human-looking person looked like a vegetable? Like, there's... Uh, there's quirky, and then there's just... It's just dumb. Oh, I forgot uh, she has that attack. Although this bad guy looks pretty cool. Like, kind of sort of a vulture. Is she supposed to look like a vegetable to anybody? It was hard. What were you sneaking for? My sisters told me to go get help. The Serpent Queen is trying to seal our people away forever, using the Earth's energy. Um, so whoever this per I, like, I don't think this person doesn't look like a vegetable, but... They look like they belong to a different anime because of their art style. Ajna? Maybe? Ajna is me. Oh wow, that's great. Come help. 
I'm certain they meant Angwu. Oh, it might have been that too. The great hero, right? <sighs> you don't need Angwu. I just saw her. She wants me to deal with these gates, so just leave it to me, okay? I don't know. I was supposed to talk to her or someone. Don't worry. Well, I'm someone. Oh, so, uh, okay. that's good enough. How is this girl oh. going to reach Angwu all by herself anyway? They're both idiots. Yeah! <laughs> Oh? Oh, hello everyone. You don't look delicious at all. I'm sorry. Don't mind if, us. What can I do to make place. myself more delicious? Oh, you noticed. We should go to Haven. That's where everyone is. Can we go there? Yeah. Um, I suppose. Oh, hello there. Nuna, the plant summoning in Ingenu? In Gnu? Lends you her green thumb! Let's see, she has plant trap. Plants a trap at the enemy's feet. Plus down attack while she's running to place it early. When KO'd, regeneration. When not, Nuna is knocked out, she will slowly absorb energy from the earth. And after a while, she'll revive. Interesting. But uh, it's also interesting how, like, it's like how to play Nuna. Here's your down attack, and here's what you do when you're dead. Okay, but what about your regular attack? What about your up attack? No, you've got to experiment. Alright, um... Let's try her out. I wonder if that's, uh, that's meant to catch people off guard. Like, they'll be like, I'm just going to go on this, on this other side. Oh no, falling! That is one gaping maw. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that is some juggle. And then, um, let us try out the plant trap. Damn it. Ooh. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure what that did. Uh, I think that might have held back the frog's attack. So let's, let's try that again just to see exactly what that does. Um... Yeah, it seems to... I don't know if it's getting hit by it, or, um... Or weakened... Alright, there goes that guy. Still, interesting, um... Premise for character. Don't know if I'm going to keep her around. Especially now this means that a lot of my characters have very low HP. Ooh. Uh, does this mean I can consider strategy? So, like, no matter where I'm going, if I'm in the front or in the back, uh, or sorry, <laughs> if I'm going left or right, uh, if I'm going left, then Ajna's in the front. If I'm going right, then Thorani's in the front. But it doesn't necessarily matter most of the time. There are only certain enemies that really affect... Um, like, I could switch to switch in somebody who has a higher HP for maybe the left and right, but... I don't know, that doesn't really... Like, that doesn't really save people, because if the person on the left or right actually got attacked more, 
then that would be more meaningful. But really, it, like, it's more about just getting those the types of attacks in. Interesting. Because of the height of that gap, I cannot go there. Nope. <laughs> Okay, um, I was busy falling my way through there, uh, so um, after taking damage, so I was not able to experience the bounciness. Oh. 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 I don't know what the correct way. Hold on. Why does it seem to want to? Like, there's an attack... Like, there's an axe symbol there. Hmm. Oh. Yep. And thus, this journey comes to a quick end. Let's jump down. Hello, how are you doing? Actually, let's um let's knock him over to the water and see if that Or should I say let's knock him over to the spikes and see if that affects uh the actual fight. It seems to do absolutely nothing except uh, create kind of like a barrier for them to be knocked into. So I suppose that could be considered... Incinerate. ...something. Uh, because this means that no matter whatever attacks I use, it keeps the group together. Oh. And I... with, um... What's her name that I just... Nuna. Ah, okay. Um, then I need a little bit more timing to the combo. Alright, let's uh, plant some traps. I can tell you one thing. It makes it slightly hard to see my own guys, because the entire screen is enveloped in blue. Ah, okay. So the plant trap actually did do something. I wonder if she does it in line with the character that, uh, the enemy that she's, uh, looking at. Yeah, that that would probably make the most sense because yep. Because regardless, like even though there's no really uh, clear, like um, specified space for which uh, battles take up, um, there is a certain amount of uh, positioning involved in these battles. Spikes for me, thanks. But we've got to go this way. The queen must have put them up to keep out intruders. Hmm, what do we do? I don't know. I'm not an intruder. Uh, hmm. Huh. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. I'm slightly confused. Does this mean that I, um... Oh. Let's, let's try charging. Oh. Nope. Okay. Um, I guess let's go back. If 
I may. I think I have a solution to get out of here. Oh? Use some of my idi. Feel it in your mind. Hmm. Now pull out your bow. Visualize my idi becoming your arrow. Oh! I see! Oh? Oh! Okay, so this is how you're able to circumvent the path on the upper left. Hold RB and press X to make your next shot a special arrow that creates a safe spot on hazardous terrain. While the spot is present, the terrain is safe to touch. Ah, okay, and it works for the whole wall. Interesting. Okay. And I can give that wall the axe. Camera. This kabanda looks real solid. Let's burn it. We can't burn it. Zara needs the wood to fix her ood. Now, what would be interesting is if you can combine, uh, her abilities of, uh, planting traps and, uh, and Therani's ability to, uh, to make puddles. That guy's got a lot of health. Uh, in order to create a, um, bigger traps. Yeah, that guy has a lot of health. Like, either I'm not... And that's the thing, he's not even doing much damage himself, so... It makes me question, like... Either I'm not... Yeah, I would, I would, my first question would be, am I leveled up high enough? Oh? I wonder if that's an area attack. Um, and that would actually hit a group of monsters. So that's basically the same as her first attack, but slightly more damaging. Not particularly interesting. Jeez. This, this is, this boss is, like, it's not really a boss, is it a boss or is it just like a special monster? Because it's specifically for the quest uh, to help this uh, woman fix her instrument. Um, this special monster, should I say, has a ton of hit points. It is a definition of a, a bullet sponge, an attack sponge. You know what's kind of missing is the ability to um, swap out uh, characters in battle. Especially when you've got fights that go on for as long as this one. Ah. And because I had those puddles, she was able to heal herself. Alright. Yeesh. Okay, because this fight isn't really going anywhere, I'm just going to skip to the end of the fight. Finally. Yeesh. That took a little bit of forever. Need me to cut?
cut it up for you. No, I can handle it. It's just wood. Pretend it's just wood. There. Now all we need is monster guts from Tai Krung. Yeah. You know, I was expecting to have to actually finish all three areas, but I'm guessing uh, based on uh, my time in the Iron Kingdom that that's that I'm going to be spending a little bit of uh, time in each section. There we go. Uh, so I might actually have the monster guts ready to go. Um, that pfft. by the time I get uh, uh, by the time I get everything I need in order to proceed. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.